You don't look like a climber. I've been told that all my life. I've won the world championships. I have multiple national championship titles, multiple outdoor ascents, over a dozen first ascents. If I don't look like a climber, but I am a climber, maybe we need to open the regard of what a climber is supposed to look like. My name is Sasha D. Julian, and I am a professional rock climber. So I've been climbing for 22 years. I started climbing when I was six years old. My brother, he had a birthday party at a local climbing gym. I didn't even know that climbing was a sport, but when the birthday party happened, I just kind of fell in love with climbing. I loved the feeling of being in control of my motion and my capacity to get to the top of the wall. And that individuality of being in control of this input-output system is really what made me fall in love with the sport. What's interesting about being a female in a traditionally male-dominated sport is it's enabled me to really think of my own path. When I started climbing, I honestly didn't relate to too many professional climbers that came before me because I have always been really feminine, but I love nature and I love being outside and the two always felt really mutually exclusive. It was not normal to be wearing makeup climbing or painting my nails pink and be a woman and also be a climber that's taken seriously. A big part of my journey has been just learning to own who I am. Two years ago, I started my production company Female Focused Adventures. My idea behind it is to really empower female content creators within the adventure space. Growing up in climbing, I was often always the only female. As I grew up and realized that there are so many other women, I was like, wow, I'm not the only one. This is awesome, because there are so many badass women who often don't even have their stories told. And then another business venture that I'm working on is Zend Bars. It's a plant-based vegan nutrition bar fueled by adaptogens. It's really hard to get a serving of greens on the side of a cliff. That's been a cool venture to fill a void that I've experienced in my own career. Dealing and coping with loss has been a big part of my last 10 years as well. I've lost a lot of friends to the sport and some really, really talented, amazing climbers have passed away. And I lost my dad very suddenly to a stroke. Having these connections and understanding what it means to lose someone really enriches my connection to what it means to be alive and why we can't take life for granted. I live my life on my own terms by setting my own boundaries and defining my own path. I really believe that we all have the ability to shape our lives in whatever direction that we want to. I could never have predicted the way that my life has been. I didn't aspire to be a professional climber because I didn't know what that meant. I just followed what I loved and committed myself to doing it. And I've had like major ups and I've had major downs, but what I feel like has been my guiding light has been staying true to who I am.